What's going on ladies and gentlemen, uh, today's video is a jam-packed video. What's going on guys, welcome back to the show, go back to another video. And in today's video, uh, we got a lot of stuff going on. We're finally uh, doing some things with the Super, obviously, and we're finally, finally, you guys can see by the title and uh, everything on this video, we picked up a new build and this is probably gonna be the craziest build I've ever done on this channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the video. So as you guys can see, we just picked ourselves up an E91 wagon. This is a 120,000 miles. It is a salvage title, but it's a run and drive. It does have a lot of issues, as you guys can tell, cosmetically and honestly, mechanically. It ended up being a lot worse the second day than the first day. Um, to be expected, stuff for a car we got for 1200 bucks, and they even delivered it to my house. He's like, Hey, bro, we run a towing business. We will tow this to your house. Just take it off our hands for 1200 bucks. They were asking six grand, and uh, yeah, we got it for 1200 bucks delivered. I think I, I think it was a pretty killer deal, and it gives us the opportunity to build something I've always wanted to build. So that being said, guys, I got in the E92, and we have so many new things we need to get to get this car running. But as soon as I got in the E92, I noticed I had a TPMS light. So before actually going out shopping for uh, car stuff, I need to get some tires. So uh, yeah, we noticed that both of my tires, for some reason, are bald on the inside. I'm assuming it needs an alignment because it has aftermarket lowering suspension. So we went with some Pirelli used tires. I had some pretty good tread on, like 75% tread, I think buying used tires guys is like the smartest way to go because I always get like two used tires that are almost brand new for like literally a fourth of the are brand new so used tires are the way to go we got our TPMS light knocked out so yeah it is time we're gonna be heading down first stop to pick and pull uh, mainly because I mean the car we're not really trying to save this car we're not really trying to like fix it up at a current state I want to tear this whole car down um, that's my visions and goals for this car so we went down to pick and pull just to get kind of the bare necessities I need a radiator because our radiator is cracked and also I need a door handle because I honestly need to get in and out of the car I have to keep opening up the passenger door and opening it that way or I have to leave the window down so it's kind of annoying but also check out these cars guys I find at pick and pull there is e90 wagons for days this one has like the whole roof knocked off that's crazy um, but I even found an e92 at a pick and pull like that's crazy Anyway, we got just a door handle they didn't have any good radiators the door handle was good enough uh, so you went down to Harbor Freight um, they had a massive sale like these gloves were $15 gloves we got it for five bucks a piece I think Thing. These are some dollies we're gonna need because we're pulling the motor out. Yes, we are pulling the motor out. These are $22 and they had them for 10 bucks a pop. Like they knew that we're gonna be doing a motor swap. So they're like, yo, we're gonna go ahead and do a massive sell for your boy Nor. Uh, so I went ahead and cop two of those. You already know we're gonna have to deal with zip ties. Uh, I bet you there's gonna be so much wiring and stuff. I don't know why I grabbed the hammer, but uh, I figured I'm probably going to need it, especially for a good deal. I'm a sucker for a good deal, you know what I mean? Uh, glasses, bare necessity, blades. Yes, I definitely need a blade. These are $8 and they were half off, or, or like somewhat half off, 5 bucks. Really good deal. Um, a tarp, since we are working in our backyard now, uh, it is, you know, lots of weeds and stuff, so we kind of need that. And then we got our jumper. We got some of these little things. These guys are amazing for literally anything when you work on BMWs. Uh, this mallet ended up returning it just because um, it wasn't the same price as advertised. Uh, but anywho, we are heading back home and finally going to give this our first, like, for some reason, guys, this car is completely dead. I couldn't get power whatsoever to it. I used my trickle charger overnight, and for some reason, there was no power to it. Um, and then I, the only thing that really worked was getting this jumper from Harbor Freight. I ended up buying a warranty on that jumper as well, just for that peace of mind. And it got me to be able to at least open the trunk. I got inside the trunk. Uh, I have a new battery that I got from Pick and Pull. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and slap that battery in the car. Uh, but honestly, no luck. That was no luck. So uh, basically, as of right now, I'm kind of like freaking out. I'm like, yo, okay, it's not starting up with the new battery. I know it runs and drives because we drove it back here. Uh, but the new battery didn't work. The, the trigger charger overnight did not work. Even the jumper, honestly, uh, would not work. Uh, so I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and fix little things like this, for example. So the tire is rubbing so badly on the quarter panel because the quarter panel is pushed in. So I decided to just give it a few hammers and again, like jump back in the car, hoping that maybe, maybe we get some power. But anyhow, so you guys are about to see me go back and forth with trying to cut the quarter and try to get this thing started. So uh, yeah, enjoy, guys. <laughs> So 
yeah, end of the day, you guys can see, I just ended up pulling the battery for my E92. I mean, I know this is a good battery, and there's no way the car won't start after installing this battery. So I went ahead and installed the battery into the wagon, and what do you guys know? Started up no problem. Started up really, really, really healthy. The engine sounds really, really, really good, so I was super happy to hear that. Um, so I went ahead, try to get this thing out of our backyard, into our driveway, um, because honestly, before actually driving this thing, uh, it, it has current tags, which is crazy. I, I, I want to smog this thing. So uh, I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and clean up everything so we can go get this thing smogged, get the title under my name. It'll be so ideal before doing a full like swap and conversion or anything we're going to be doing to this car. I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing with this car, but I have some major plans for this thing, and we definitely need a donor car for those plans. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, it's absolutely filthy. So I went ahead and pulled out the pressure washer, and we're just going to clean this whole baby up. Also guys, if you see me literally just spraying water into the coolant reservoir, the radiator is shot. Literally, like coolant is draining out of it so really, really, really quickly. I don't think it's healthy for the environment and I don't really think it's it's healthy for my wallet to keep putting coolant in there. So I decided to just put some regular water in there and just call it a day. Obviously, don't do this method on a car that you guys actually love. I'm gonna be pulling everything out of this car, including the engine and transmission, so I just don't care. As long as I can get this thing to pass smog, that is my primary goal as of right now. Yes, we got a new door handle. We need to get the door handle functional. So we got this from Pick a Pull. It is functioning. Thank the Lord. I don't want the guys that smog like, what the heck? How do we get into this car? So I went ahead. It's got a decent door handle. Makes even my life easier moving the car around. Um, and now we are heading over to go get this bad boy smog. Now, unfortunately, as I started driving, we started uh, we started noticing that you know, I mean, it was running and driving. The transmission was really, really hard jerking, and I'm like, oh, okay. He did not tell me that it had bad jerking issues, but I was like, you know what? It's all gravy the Navy. Pull up, and I'm like, oh man, I can't even get my door to open now. It's not opening. So I had to, you know, jump out the passenger side to get that door to open. Once I actually got around, I noticed that my tire was all ripped up. I'm like, dude, what a hoopty. So um, again, I got back home, and I wanted to go ahead and at least get the, the minor stuff sorted before actually focusing on smog, because I don't want my tire blown up while I'm driving or anything like that. So we went ahead um, and just, just we're just gonna take off the wheel. We're gonna take off the wheel, so it's super easy to just hammer this thing out. I tried honestly using kind of like a like a fender roller with like my hammer or something, but honestly the tire is just it's it's just it doesn't work. It doesn't work. So took off the tire, hammered this thing out. Honestly, that worked really well. Like you might as well just give me a job at a body shop because that thing pulled out so 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 well, um, and it would have honestly been perfect. If that was the least of my issues after this, I didn't have any issues in terms of overheating until this. Watch this, guys. A few minutes later, after pulling out the quarter and everything, I drove literally like two or three minutes, car, overheating light. 
um, everything just gets dumped from not not actually from the the radiator. Everything gets dumped from the coolant reservoir tank. Uh, so I was like, okay, thank God it was just water in there. So we're all graving the navy. Uh, we didn't waste any money there. But I am stuck here about like three or four minutes away from my house, and uh, it just constantly overheats. So I'm, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and show pictures and videos of all the parts on this car because we are parting this whole thing out. If you guys need any parts in that are local, in, in, or if there's some small things you guys want me to ship out, hit me up on my Instagram. I'm shipping out everything. I'm selling everything. Uh, but I have. Have plans for this car guys that are really 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 big again so you guys can see me I'm on the side of the road hazards the check engine light and the overheating light keep coming on um, every three to four minutes uh, so I mean every like 30 seconds honestly so I keep pulling over and started up went home waited 20 minutes started up blah 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 any hoozles we got home officially and I was like you know what we need to focus on the super right now because it is our day to get this thing down to the frame shop so we got the super all the parts loaded into the e92 and we got some plates on the Supra just so you know it's all grave in the navy with triple a um we got the tow hook on there so they don't pull it from the control arms and i was like all right bro everything is gravy in the navy in terms of the super at least we're finally having the car taken to the frame shop to have that frame stuff pulled out and they be aligning the door and everything make sure everything's grave in the navy before painting anything because i want to make sure everything fits properly and i want to make sure do we need a new quarter panel or can this thing be repaired so any hoozles the AAA member was very 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 nice he actually was willing to drive the car on there which i was so happy about i was like please don't pull from the control arms or anything like that he was a super cool guy he's like i'll just drive it on there i'm like you're the man dude you're the man he even told me if i wanted to drive it on there i was like nah bro your trailer you got this dude um so yeah any we started heading down to the frame guy this guy Whoever this dude is, dude, honestly, he drives like a car at He told me he has a supercharged Mustang, and this dude was pretty much racing me on the highway. <laughs> I've never had that. But anyways, it looked, the Super looks so, so, so good. This is the scene where it's actually dropped off at the body shop, so saying goodbyes. We are back home, guys. We are officially back home with the wagon. So what do you guys think? Did we make a good decision buying this wagon, or did we get screwed over for 1200 bucks? I think it's a really good deal in my personal opinion, but let me know down below, guys. I mean, you guys have to think about it. We got a car for $1,200 at this current economy. I honestly genuinely don't think that is possible, especially for almost a running and driving car. Turns out the water pump took a dump. The radiator is cracked. Um, it has a lot of uh, cooling issues as of right now. And honestly, I don't want to deal with any of that stuff to get the car registered. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start the registration and then at least put the car on non-op until we get the swap done. The swap is 100% being done. I've never actually tackled anything this big before, but I want to do a complete conversion swap inside out everything um and i you know we got to try new things on this channel and i want to try to develop as a person i want to kind of like grow as a person so this build is going to definitely be able to like test my boundaries um and at the same time get out of my boundaries and at the same time i'm not really financially making a bad bad decision because if you think about it 1200 bucks i'm sure i could part out the car um for well over two three grand on all the parts i don't need and then actually get another car and then build it so i think actually this is going to be a budget build uh, but also a full-on conversion I was thinking about either throwing an N54, N55, or even an S55 in there, or S65. So, um, yeah, I mean, you guys let me know which, what kind of motor swap you guys want to see done to this car. And should we do, like, a whole conversion on the exterior? Again, let me know. This is a wagon build. I don't think it's offered in any other chat, like any other trim other than the 328XI. Um, so, I think it's going to be super sick doing a conversion on this thing. I think it's going to look like a really sick wagon. Eventually, I could take this thing to car meets. And I just have so much goals, and I'm so ambitious about this. I don't know why. It just... Like, I think it's such a unique build. And as a BMW enthusiast, I think building something that's so unique is going to be so sick. So if you guys want to see this on the channel, make sure to smash that like button. And I'll keep you guys updated, obviously, with the whole Supra thing. We got so many packages in for the Supra. We're just waiting for the frame guy to finish up on that. We'll get that bad boy back. And uh, we'll go from there. Now, before I actually conclude this video, guys, so many guys have been hitting me up nonstop all week. Like, Nor, you need to upload more. This once a week stuff isn't working. And honestly, it's not even working for me either. It really hurts me not to upload for so, so, so long. Long. So honestly, guys, um, I did this for like two weeks, once a week. Honestly, uh, there's so much to get done in a week as the SNC. So much got, uh, you know, you got a car. You guys didn't even know I got a car, and I got this car like four or five days ago. Um, so I'm gonna try to upload maybe twice a week because I, I wanna, I wanna still try this algorithm thing with YouTube. So I'm gonna try to upload around twice a week right now. And for those of you guys who actually sticked around this long, this might actually interest some of you guys because a lot of you guys have always said, "Nor, I wanna support you in one way or another." And I'm like, I, I mean, I appreciate you guys. Just watch my videos and I appreciate. 
appreciate. That's all I need. But what do you guys honestly, when I say one, I mean like like once every couple of days, someone recommends me to start a Patreon. So I actually started a Patreon. Um, this isn't the end of the video because I only want for those of you guys who are actually like loyal subscribers and for those of you guys who actually support the videos to go check that out. So if you guys want to support the channel, it starts as little as $3 a month and you guys can actually see my day-to-day -day life outside of YouTube. So, so if I'm actually working on the car, I'm picking up something new or even I want you guys to even help me decide what I'm going to be doing with the car, that all happens before I actually drop the video. So if you guys want to be a huge part of the channel and actually know what goes on behind the scenes, make sure to check out that Patreon down below and the highest tier of the Patreon gets you guys subscribed to get free merch every single month so so i think this is a great way to be able to fund the builds but at the same time give you guys an inside scoop while actually testing out the algorithm and all this stuff i think it's going to be a great win-win scenario you guys get more content you guys get posted more and obviously to be as transparent as possible it just helps out with the builds as well and i truly appreciate you guys so for those of you guys who want to do that again check out that first link down below that is the patreon but without further ado guys um i'll keep y'all posted what happens with the wagon just let me know what kind of engine swap you guys want to see i'm going to probably have a pull up on the patreon pretty soon so make sure check out that link but without further ado i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see y'all on the next one peace out